Hey, I want to show you how to make a simple circle um, in Shader Toy. So I want to start um, by getting the center of things. And you can do that by uh, just making a variable called center. And this is going to be, uh, so the coordinates of a shader are usually negative one to positive one in both directions. And uh, we want to basically move everything up into uh, a different quadrant. We want to move it into the 0 to 1 quadrant, or the top right quadrant. So to do that, all you have to do is take the regular coordinates and subtract a, uh, a vector from that. And subtract half of the vector, and you'll be in the right coordinate. Um, so. The next thing we want to do is create our color gradient. So we're going to do that by saying color is equal to vec3. And you just start by giving it any value. So like 0 0.9, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. And then passing in color here. You can see it's sort of an ugly color. Let's clean that up. Uh, so one of the things that we can do is attach that to some coordinates. So 0 0.3 plus uh, uh, our center dot y would give us a vertical gradient. You can see here it just stretches from like a yellow now to a red as, as y gets uh, down to zero. So we can all the, oh, also uh, add some more colors to the scheme here by uh, adding more attaching uh, another color channel to another coordinate system. So here we have 0 0.2, so we could say like, uh, I don't know, 0 0.2 times center dot x. And uh, okay. so there we start to see like, uh, you know, a little bit of color coming in on the right side. I actually want more color coming in on the right side. So I'm going to give it like a value of 0.6, maybe 0.5 to move it into the middle. So the middle starts transitioning to, uh, as x goes to 1, it starts adding in more color in the blue space. Um, so now that we have like a nice gradient, what we want to do is make a circle. Um, so we can do that by um, doing something called smooth step. So what that's going to do here is take a value and transition things uh, between two values uh, for a specific t value. Um, so if you haven't heard of t before, t values are just a number from 0 to 1 that change something uh, in increments and basically allow you to, uh, I had a, a coworker once call it like, uh, turning a dial or a knob. Um, say you have like a speaker and you want to turn up the speaker, you, t you turn the dial up to 10. Well, uh, this function is basically allowing you to turn a dial um, just in code. So we'll type it out, step. Um, and then what you're going to do is we're going to pass in something called R. R is just going to be a value. Um, and then uh, we'll say we can go from r to r plus 0.1 and then our value or our, um, our step value let's just attach it to center.x for now and then what we want to do is create that value so it'll just be a float r and it's I don't know, 0 0.3 so you can see when I run that what happens here so we're taking, we're going from r to r 0.1, so 0 0.3 to 0 0.4, and as the center dot x uh, goes from that, goes between that range, we're going to transition, uh, and we're going to multiply that transition by the color value, uh, which is a vector three. So we're going to multiply all three color channels uh, by that center value. So as you see, like. There's nothing here, and I, I can actually uh, change this down to be more centered. But really, what we want is uh, 
like we want both sides. We don't. You can see that like it's all black on half the screen. Um, so the way you get both sides is by taking the length of the vector instead. So if I pass that in, you can see now I get a line. And uh, to get a circle, it's actually really easy. Uh, you want to take into account both the x and the y value. Um, so you can do it that way, or you can just run it as center. So this is a little small. This circle is a little small. So I want to uh, make it bigger, and I don't want it to be so fuzzy. So instead of going to uh, 0 0.3 to 0 0.4, let's go 0 0.3 to 0 0.31. So I just do that by adding uh, less less of the value there. And so you can see I have sort of a, it's, it's actually an ellipse. I don't have a circle, so I need to um, actually uh, account for the screen width and height. Um, in this case, like it's wider than it is taller. So that's why you're seeing a wider circle than it is taller, because it's actually taking into account the width and the height. I need to compensate for that. So I'm just going to say center.x is equal to center.x um, and then you're going to times it by the ratio of the resolution so you have a variable set in your input already called i resolution which just gives you your screen screen size resolution um, so if we say i resolution.x divided by i resolution.y um, then we should be able to compensate for that and you can see we have a circle um, this is a black circle inside of gradient and i want to flip it so that I have the gradient inside of the circle. Um, and one, one of the key ways to do that is by reversing things. Uh, so right now I have, you know, as r gets larger, uh, the step value, it multiplies less by the color. So uh, what I want to do is multiply more by the color. And one of the ways I can do that is just reversing it. Um, so it's just 1 minus that. Because everything is set from 0 to 1, uh, if you have something that looks like that and you just want to reverse it, just subtract it from 1 and you'll get uh, the opposite of that. Um, and that's because like, as this value rises, 0 0.3, 4, 5, 6, uh, this value actually lowers. So if this value is 0.6, this value is 0.4. If this value is 0.4, this value is 0.6. So it's just the opposite. Um, so anyway, that's that. Now you've created a circle with a gradient. And then you could you know, do other things like animate these. Um, like for instance, I have 0 0.3 here. So uh, what I could use is say 0 0.3, or actually I could say 0 0.2 plus, um, and then let's take 0.5 times the cosine of a uh, value. And they give you another input here uh, called i, I time. Uh, so if you just pass in i time directly, uh, you'll see that it disappears for a really long time and then it gets really large and then dis disappears for a really long time. So what you could do here is uh, to sort of augment that and make sure it's always giving you some kind of large value. Um, you can just say, like, I don't know, 0 0.5. Um, or actually, I don't know. Whatever it is. Uh, so, yeah, that's...